Get it guys, it's Jara here and today we're doing something a little bit different, a little bit fancy. Um, today I'm doing an unboxing video. So we went to a store today and I thought I would unbox something for you. So first off, presentation wise, it comes in a beautiful bag, so if you can't tell. We're unboxing the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now I am a Samsung supporter, I'm not saying that I don't love Apple, but I have Samsung. This was my older phone, as you can see here. If I press it, it doesn't turn on. So this is my older phone. This was the S4. So we're going to be comparing the S4 in shape and size like that to the brand new Samsung Galaxy S10 in the color Prism Green. We got a nice little shimmer there. So this is what the box box looks like. It's very nice, you know, sleek. Simple box, put a description there. You know, it's very nice, clean box. So, I don't really know how to do unboxing videos. I've never watched unboxing videos. So, I'm just gonna assume we unbox it because that's the name of it. So, basically, what I'm gonna do is just try and get this seal off right here because I brought no tools with me to do this. So, we're gonna see how this goes. This just might turn to a compl comp compilation. I can barely speak. I'm turning sick, I think. Let me just dig a little. Oh, did I have a box? Probably. So I managed to dig. So it turns out that the seal is actually underneath the plastic, which I kind of like. So then people can't steal it in the stores. But anyway, they're under a lock and key there. Anyway. Um, if any of you are in Adelaide and you go to Tea Tree Plaza and you want to buy a Samsung, dude, make sure you get the guy named Jordan there. He is absolutely amazing, <sighs> hilarious, he's funny, he just honestly made it so much more enjoyable buying a Samsung. So, definitely go buy from a guy named Jordan if you're in Adelaide, Australia. If you're not in Adelaide, Australia, which I'm not surprised, then there we go. So again, here's a box without the plastic cover on. It feels really nice too. Like it just feels really clean and simple. It doesn't feel like there's too many textures on it, which can be nice for people who get sensitive very quickly from who are like oversensitive or things like that. So again, we've just broken the seal. So now we'll let it come off. So again, on the side, you can kind of see Samsung Galaxy S10. Here is the phone. I'm not going to even take it out of the box, but this is it in the box. So if we take it out of the box, oh my lord, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, and okay, I really like the packaging. So before I even show you the phone, this is what's inside. I knew that was going to happen. Let me just refix that. So, oh, that's the wrong way, but you get the picture. So there's these like earbuds. The cables in here, there's a little plug that goes into the wall and I'm assuming, I don't know what this is, this is a Samsung to USB to C, so that's actually really helpful now that I know what that is. Yeah, and it comes with some cute little earbuds and just the cable, but this is the box with everything taken out. So obviously we're going to be looking at the Samsung phone. Ooh, pretty. There's the back. It's called Prism Green if you want to get it. It's so beautiful. This is going to be my favorite part. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, ASMR, baby. So that's with the plastic taken off. So as you can see up the top here, there are three different cameras. I don't know if it's. There's about three different cameras to flash in that. So I'm going to see if there's any charge in this. So we're just going to hold it down. Oh, there we go, Samsung Galaxy S10. So this is what it looks like. Quick comparison to the S4. It's a little bit bigger. This is just a normal S10. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, you can see my camera reflection, but that's okay. So this is what it looks like. It's just booting up. Ding. Um, I'll give it a second to boot up. Like I said, it's just been taken out of the box. That's what the bottom of it looks like. So you can still have the jack and all that stuff. 
So now it's just doing setup. So press let's go. Um, I've agreed to everything. How do you want to connect? We'll skip all of that stuff for now. I'll quickly just connect it to the Wi-Fi. Ooh. It feels so different from my old one. Because, like, this is... This definitely was a little bit heavier than this, but this is, like, really old. That was brought out in 2013. This was brought out this year. So, again, I'm just going to quickly put in the right password this time. Instead of the old one. So, it's just connecting now. Look at that. Look at that reflection. Hello. Um, so just gonna go next. So as you can see, it's just trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. That's the other little camera right there. This is a beautiful camera. I don't know, be a beautiful camera. Sorry, it's a beautiful phone. Like it, it feels quite nice in my hand. It's a little bit bigger than this for like a tiny bit, but it's not too much. This is a lot more rounder, as you can see. Whereas this is a bit more squared. I'm using this as comparison, even though it's so much older. Because it's the S4 that I had before. Um, but yeah, like, even the back's different. But yeah, I'm just trying to think. So yeah, this was done. This was manufactured in Vietnam, as it says in the bottom. Might be hard for you guys to see. I don't know. I think if you go right there, this was manufactured in Vietnam. So at least we know where these are made, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely buying a case because I'm now so paranoid I'm going to break this thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see how this is going to work. Um, it's still connecting to the internet, so we might give it a minute or two. But a real first impressions, it feels really nice. I love how it comes with earbuds, so I don't have to worry about buying earbuds. Um, like it comes with everything. It comes with a little like support card you know like so I open it up like Samsung care and you know if you want to become a Samsung member and all of these things and like a little that which I think is really cool I quite like that all right it's now asking for my Google account so I'm just do that quickly you guys don't need to see it but that's what it looks like oh I spelt that wrong It just feels beautiful to even hold and touch. Oh, love it. Whoop. Almost showed you my email. Sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling, but like, yes, I'm in. So as you can tell, obviously it will need a case because when you touch it for more than two seconds, fingerprints are all over it. So, but it's probably really easy to wipe off. I haven't attempted to wipe it off yet, but even if I just do, like this, you can clearly see the fingerprint residue, which is not really the greatest, but all right. So now it says protect your phone, so you can do face recognition, fingerprint, pattern, pin, password, or none for now. I'm gonna do face recognition because I've never done face recognition because my old phone never had it, and then we'll do a password for my backup so we'll do we'll just put in a password um yes I'm done oh it has to contain a letter oops hold on <laughs> my apologies um we'll just put in this password for the moment so when putting in a password you need to have letters and a number so I'm not wearing glasses right now I usually don't anyway so it's now trying to I'm just gonna grab you guys as you oh he, sorry that actually happened a lot quicker it recognized my face so we just did a quick scan of my face and it worked so now Google Assist is here so this is really really cool I'm actually really liking this um, so we'll just do more and more, accept. So just add, adding the finishing touches now. 
I am getting the recommended apps that I want. I don't know if I have a Samsung account. I'm just going to skip that for the moment. Skip. Skitty, skip, skip. And now it's all done. So that's what the background looks like. As you can see. Making all the sound effects. So we're just going to bring up. Alright, we get it. What I'm just going to do quickly is the, a quick recommendation. So if you swipe down, obviously you have all your notifications and things like that. Swipe down again. The guy told me that if you click on this one right here, Dolby, it makes the sound ridiculously better. Um, but I also like how this has a night mode, a kid's home. There's the sounds really nice. There's a blue light filter, which I'm just going to always have turned on to help with my eyes. Okay, so let's get rid of all of these for the moment. So I'm just going to go into gallery quickly. Well, so there's nothing in the gallery, so I'm just going to show you what the camera looks like. So we're just going to go into camera. And as you can see here, this is what one of the back cameras looks like. So that's just the middle one. We'll do the other one, which is a closer up one. And then the distance one. Um, so there's those. If we flip it around, you'll be able to see where I do this. Hold on. Okay. So as you can see, here is the S10. The camera is... Oh, hold on. Let's... There we go. So there's that one, or a wider selfie. There's live focus. So it focuses on just me. Or it can do... So we go back to live focus, sorry. So we've got live focus. Or we can do this effect. So there's color point, a zoom, or a spin effect. I'm not really sure what that does. And then there's just a blur effect. So I'm going to take my first selfie. So let's go into the gallery. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty like great quality. I'm going to change the background effect. So I can change the blur on it. I can change... You know, colors and all different things like that. So I can change it to the spin one, which adds a bit of spin of effect. I can change it to a zoom, or I can do just a color point, which is like that. So I'm going to apply. So that's what it looks like. There are other camera settings as well. So there's a three, you can change the ratio of it. Let's go back to the other side. So this is showing the back camera. So there's also the blur effects, there's a timer, there's flash. So there's pro, so you can change the settings yourself personally. To panorama, so you can go around. Then there's also the food setting, which I really like. There's video, which again, you can do the three different zooms. There's super slow motion, slow motion, and hyperlapse. So the other one's in there. We can change the background. Oh, we'll do that in a minute. So right now it's just got these for the moment, but we'll add some more apps later. So I'm just going to put that down. And so that is it for the unboxing video. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed it or not. This is my first time doing it, so we'll see how we go. Anyway, dry out says in the next video. Whoop, sorry, Kaz, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I recommend buying an S10 if you want an S10. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. This is cool. I love my Aston.